the MetaQuest 3 versus the Steam Frame VR headset. What are the differences and which one is the best? Let's dive right into it. And what better way to start off this comparison than with what comes inside the box? Now the Quest has a very minimalistic package that just contains your headset unit, your Touch Plus controllers, as well as your charging cable and adapter. While the Steam Frame though does have a unique extra here next to its headset and controller. And that is the included USB-C dongle for PC VR gaming. But more on that later, because we should first take a closer look at the headset design itself. And here you can already feel quite a big difference directly because the overall Meta Quest 3 headset weighs in at a total of 515 grams. And that is significantly more than the Steam Frame, which comes in at a total of 435 grams instead. Now, secondly, when we look at the outside of the Quest 3, then we quickly find the cameras that are used for the headset, controller, and hand tracking. And these cameras also unlock full color pass-through that makes it possible for you to see your surroundings and even play some mixed reality games in here. But on the other hand, while the Steam Frame also has four outfacing cameras built into it, these are instead monochrome versions, meaning that your pass-through right out of the box will always be in black and white. But moving on, we get to the back of the headset where we can see that the Quest 3 is using that soft basic dual band strap. Now this one, you can simply adjust by pulling the two plastic clips on the bottom. Although these do tend to hurt quite a lot after a while of using them. And when we look at the Steam Frame, then we can see that this is using a similar soft dual band as well. But with the major difference is that it has the battery built into the back of it. And while we're talking about the headset design, we should also take a look at the controllers. Now here, the Quest 3 rocks some white Touch Plus controllers that have all your standard face buttons and joysticks that you come to expect. And on the back, you'll also find your singular trigger and grip. And to power these up, they use some standard AA batteries that you can easily swap in and out without having the option to charge them over something like USB-C. And these Steam Frame controllers have a quite similar look to them, but they do have a different layout overall. For example, the four face buttons are now all moved to the right side while they added a new D-pad to the left one. And that makes it basically look the same as any other standard gaming controller that you have laying at home. And just like with your Quest, these will also use your standard swappable AA batteries to power them. But moving on, let's take a deeper look at the headset itself and more specifically at the hardware specs. Because probably one of the most important things here is of course, the screen. Now luckily, the Steam Frame and the Quest 3 rock a near identical LCD resolution with that of the Quest 3 being at 2064 by another 2208 pixels per eye. Although, keep in mind that the Quest does have a max refresh rate of 120 Hz, while the Steam Frame has an experimental option out there that can push it all the way up to 144 Hz instead. Now secondly, is that both headsets make use of the newer Pancake optics, which will give you that nice and clear sweet spot as well as less god rays. And that is a big improvement over something like the older Fresnel lenses. And when it comes to the oh so important field of view, once again, the specs here are nearly identical, with both headsets having a 110 degree FOV. But that is also where most the similarities stop, since the biggest difference between them can be seen when we look at the chipset that is running the headsets. Now the Quest 3 is using the Snapdragon XR2 Gen 2 chip, which while still very powerful, will fall slightly behind compared to the more advanced Series 8 Gen 3 of that of the Steam Frame. Because this is by far the most advanced mobile processor on the market right now that you can find in a VR headset. I mean, it even easily beats something like the XR2 Plus that we see in the Samsung Galaxy XR. And on top of that, the Steam Frame also has multiple inward facing cameras that can be used for things like eye tracking or foveated streaming which means it will make your screen look as sharp as possible, but only in the places that you're looking at. Now, while these are all, of course, some very nice specs, we should also talk about probably the most important thing of all, and that is the games. Now, the Meta Quest 3 has a massive library of standalone experiences that you can find on the Horizon store page. And these also include some big exclusives that you just can't find anywhere else. So that gives Meta also by far the biggest catalog of titles that you can dive into on day one. Now next to that, Meta offers the option to use something like Quest Plus, which is kind of similar to Xbox Game Pass, but then for VR games. And it is also good to know that you can get $30 of free store credit with your Quest 3 that you can spend however you want. So if you're still thinking of getting a headset, then I'll leave that link in the description below so that you can make sure to not miss out on that. Although, by far the coolest thing is that if you want to play PC VR games instead, then this is possible too with your Quest 3. 
because all you have to do is simply connect your headset to your computer, either by cable or wirelessly to something like virtual desktop. And in that way, you will have the entire Steam VR library at your disposal as well. So no matter what VR game you want to play, you will most likely be able to do it on your Quest. But while the Steam Frame, on the other hand, is technically a standalone VR headset, its main focus is on playing PC VR and flat screen games wirelessly by using that previously mentioned included dongle. Because this will give you a nice advantage over the streaming delays that you would otherwise have on Quest 3. And on top of that, the awesome thing about the Steam Frame is that for the very first time ever, it will now also be possible to play your Steam VR games natively. And that means that you can download something like Half-Life Alex onto your device and play it from start to finish without needing any gaming PC at all. Just keep in mind though, that for this to work properly, the devs might have to lower the graphics quite a bit to keep it all going smoothly. But either way, being able to play PC VR titles on your headset without actually needing an external power source is absolutely insane. Now Valve also showed off that you will be able to see an icon named Steam Frame Verified so that you can know if that game works in that standalone mode. And that is kind of similar to how it works with their other devices too. But maybe just as important is of course the software running it. Now the MetaQuest 3 uses Horizon OS as its operating system, which actually has changed quite a lot over the last couple of years. But either way, the base interface will give you all the standard options that you need, while it also has a big focus on Horizon Worlds. And that is Meta's own social VR platform. While the Steam Frame, on the other hand, will be using Steam OS instead. And this is pretty much a VR version of that of the Steam Deck. And since nearly all users unanonymously agree that this is one of the smoothest experiences ever when it comes to UI and interactions, it also has some huge possibilities and potential when you're thinking about customization or modding your device. And another interesting thing is that while the base Quest 3 comes with your standard 512 gigabytes, the Steam Frame will come instead with a 256 gigabyte model, as well as a one terabyte version. But with the cool addition that you can choose to upgrade this yourself by using a micro SD card, which would let you boost it all the way up to two terabytes in total. So this means that you can go really wild and download all the games on here that you can imagine. Now we shouldn't forget though that the Quest 3 came out all the way back in 2023, while the Steam Frame releases three years after that in early 2026. But that also gets us to the final conclusion. Now the Meta Quest 3 and the Steam Frame from Valve are both awesome VR headsets. But they also each have their own pros and cons. Because while on one side the Quest 3 is mainly focused on standalone gaming with the addition of full color mixed reality at a low price cost, the Steam Frame on the other hand is a PC VR headset first that brings you ultra low latency thanks to its included Wi-Fi 6E dongle. But it also comes with the more open Steam OS and even the possibility to play Steam VR games natively. But that is not all. Because if you are thinking of getting a Steam Frame, then there are also seven important things that you need to know before you buy one. So click on the video that you see on screen right now to make sure you don't miss out on that. And of course, stay awesome.